Hello everybody, how you doing? This is Mr. Dallas, and in this video I'm going to go over uh, my quadrilateral flowchart. I made this for my students, and I, helps, uh, I think it helps them understand the different types of quadrilaterals. First of all, um, this is a, an overview. This is uh, not a video to help you understand every single one of these. I have a video under parallelograms, another video under rectangles, another video under rhombus, square, kite, trapezoid, and isosceles trapezoid. So this is just an overview. Um, so a quadrilateral, first of all, is a polygon, which is a closed figure with all sides composed of line segment. Uh, what that means is all the sides are basically flat and they all kind of close up. They're not open. Uh, think of it like um, a square is closed but the letter U is open on top. So that's what I mean by open. Um, but anyways, uh, so quadrilateral, we're going to study all kinds of quadrilaterals in the next few lessons and videos. A quadrilateral is a four-sided polygon. Um, so every single one of these has four sides and every single one of these has the sum of interior angles equal 360 degrees. This is important to understand. So you need to remember some of the interior angles equal 360 degrees. And these two characteristics are characteristics and properties of these uh, seven different shapes right here. So uh, notice I've got quadrilaterals um, broken into three different categories. I've got the parallelogram, I've got the kite, and I've got the trapezoid. Um, parallelograms have two pairs of parallel sides. So two pairs of parallel sides. Kites have no pairs, uh, so I'm just going to say no parallel sides. And then trapezoids have exactly one pair of parallel sides. And so these are broken into three different categories here. Why did I start with two pairs of parallel sides over here in parallelogram? because that's how I teach it to my students. We start here and then we move our way over to the right. So um, notice here, there are uh, other names under parallelogram. We have rectangle, rhombus, and square. These three shapes down here are special kinds of parallelograms. So you might hear these referred to as special parallelograms. Uh, first of all, parallelogram has seven different properties right now associated with it. Uh, we have opposite sides are parallel, opposite sides are congruent, opposite angles are congruent, consecutive angles equal 180 degrees, Diagonals bisect each other. One pair of sides are both congruent and parallel, and each diagonal divides the quadrilateral into two congruent triangles. I have a separate video over this one, just like what I was saying at the very beginning. So if you want to get more detail about these, look at this separate video. This is just an overview of the different type, types of quadrilaterals. So there are seven properties of parallelograms. Every single parallelogram in the world, no matter how big or small it is, has all seven of these properties. And then if I jump down to rectangle here, rectangle has these two properties plus these seven properties here. So these properties will spill down and you have a total of nine properties for rectangles. So in addition to what I read up here, all angles are right angles and then the diagonals are congruent to each other. So a total of nine properties for a rectangle. A rhombus has all seven of these plus an additional three for a total of ten properties. So these again, these properties spill down plus it has these properties here. All sides are congruent, diagonals are perpendicular, and the diagonals bisect opposite angles. So that makes up a total of 10 properties. And then if you look here, square is pointing towards rectangle and rhombus. A square has all five of these characteristics that a rectangle and rhombus has. So these two plus these three make up these five. I just copied these and pasted them down here. So a square has five plus these seven for a total of 12 properties. So it has a combination of all five of these. So it has all seven plus these five. All angles are right angles, diagonals are congruent. All sides are congruent, diagonals are perpendicular, and diagonals bisect opposite angles. I kind of think of if a rectangle and a rhombus got together, bounce like a bound wow, they had a baby, um, they would make a square. They have all, uh, both of these um, sets of characteristics, and maybe the parallelogram would be like the grandparent, I don't know. Um, so I know that's kind of silly, but that helps my students understand this a little bit better. So these seven properties plus these five make up these 12. Uh, a kite has three properties associated with it, outside of being a quadrilateral. Uh, it has exactly two distinct pairs of adjacent congruent sides. Diagonals are perpendicular, and then one diagonal divides the quadrilateral into two congruent triangles. That makes up a total of three properties. And again, I have separate videos on kite and on these other ones. So I know I'm going kind of fast here, but this is just an overview. Trapezoid has one additional characteristic associated with it, outside of being a quadrilateral. Exactly one pair of parallel sides. Uh, so the definition of a trapezoid is actually the 
um, property, the loan property for trapezoid. And then isosceles trapezoid has this one, it's a type of trapezoid, plus these three for a total of four properties. So uh, on top of it having exactly one pair of parallel sides, each pair of base angles are congruent, diagonals are congruent, and one pair of parallel, uh, sorry, one pair of congruent sides. Um, so it has one pair of congruent sides, uh, the legs. The non-parallel sides, which are called the bases. So right here, um, this is a little confusing. I kind of paraphrased it. Uh, there are four sides on an isosceles trapezoid. Uh, two of the sides are opposite of each other, and they're congruent, and they're called legs. That's what makes them an isosceles trapezoid. Um, and then the two sides that are not the legs are the bases, and the bases are the parallel sides. And again, you can watch a video to get more uh, understanding on this whenever I do trapezoids and isosceles trapezoids. So I hope, I hope this helps you understand um, the different types of quadrilaterals, and, uh, and watch my other videos if you have any questions on these, and I hope you have a good day. Bye-bye.